Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm doing a foundation review. It's going to be on the, I believe it's the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I only got a little sample from Sephora, only because my skin is so funny. So I'm not spending 40 some dollars, 30 some, 40 dollars on foundation if my skin doesn't like it. So I'm going to try out this cute little sample right here and I'll show you the makeup after I'm done and everything. Um, so I hope you guys like this video and just stay tuned and we'll get started. So let's get started. As I was saying, I did get this cute little sample from Sephora. Um, is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I think it's in the color Stromboli, but I will link everything down below that I'm using. I uh, thought I would do a review because my skin is so funny. It's dry. Sometimes it's acne prone. So, let's get real. I'm not spending 40 some dollars on a full bottle of foundation if my skin reacts bad to it. I mean, it's just not happening. So, I thought I would try this out do a cute little makeup look with it and give you my input and my information, like my results on how this foundation worked on my skin. So if you want to try it, then you can definitely try it out and hopefully it works for you. So i um, got all my makeup right here. Just going to get started. And like I said, I will list all the products I'm using down below. And I have the Wet n Wild Brow Pencil. My skin is so dry. And so it's hard to find foundations that work with my dry skin. And that every now and then it can get acne prone, like in the summer. So I figured why not try this cute little sample from Sephora. Yes, you can get samples from Sephora if you did not know that. You can. You get three samples uh, a person. So, that really helps out if you're trying, wanting to try new foundations and stuff and new, like, skincare. I really love that perk. Just about every time that I go to Sephora... I have in mind what I would like to try. That way, if I want to try something new, just get a cute little sample, take it home, try it out. That way I don't end up spending hundreds of dollars on products that I absolutely don't like or my skin doesn't like. So I think the sample thing works wonders. So I'm just going to fill in my brows and do my eyeshadow real quick. If there's any makeup product you would like me to try out or any makeup video or any video in general that you would like me to do and just leave a comment down below and I will definitely get to it. And I will do it as best as I can. And I do apologize if you hear the rain in the background. It has been raining cats and dogs all day here and it's crazy. So again, I do apologize for all the rain or thunder that you do here. got a phone call but anyway we are going to start on my eyes now I just finished my brows I'm going to be using the elf concealer to just prime my eyelids I 
I'm taking the Cody Loose Air Spend Found Air Loose Powder and just making sure on the desert crease. I'm really excited to be trying out this foundation. I've heard great things about it. So hopefully my skin doesn't react badly towards it. So first thing I'm going to be taking is the, for my eyes, the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. This palette is really pretty and so colorful. I think I'm going to do something bright. Maybe take a yellow. So I'll be going into this color right here. Watch out if I'm blinding you. And just going into my crease. I'm taking this really cute crease brush is the elf eye crease brush. The next palette I'm going to be going into is the Lisa Dreamer palette by Pretty Break Cosmetics. And I'm going to be taking this yellow shade right here, it's called Vivid, and I'm going to be going all, I'm going to brighten up my crease a bit, and going all over my lid, taking this really cute fluffy brush. Taking a flat brush now and taking the same vivid color, just going on my lid. Into the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. Taking the same color, just going in my face again. Now I'm going to be taking the foundation, the NARS foundation, and just dabbing it all over my face. So one thing I do notice, it is creamy and it's a tad thick. Not that that's a problem, but it's thicker than some of the foundations that I've tried. So far, it seems to be really smooth. I'm taking this beauty blender, just dabbing it in. Panting it all over my skin. Making sure it's blended on my neck.
like it. It's blending in really well. It's not too thick to where it's cakey. So, so far it's doing really good with my dry skin. Yay. Always so happy about that. And a lot goes a long way. So what went on my face, I just used the top of this little lid and I still have a full little sample in the bottom. So I mean it covered really well. So this looks like to be a full coverage foundation, which is really well, especially if you want it to last all day. It's really smooth and it's blending in really well and I like it. And it's not too cakey, it's not too drying, it doesn't stick to my dry areas, like right here around my nose, which is where I have my, like my dry areas, so it's doing really well. So it went on tremendously, and I absolutely love this. looks really good. I like it. I'll finish my concealer. And going back into the e.l.f. concealer. Like I said, I will list all the products down in the description. Even working well with the concealer, which is really good. I'm going to set it with the Cody Airspun Loose Powder. I'm not going to be setting my face everywhere. Just in certain places. So, so far, the places that I have been setting it which is under my eyes and everything. With this powder and this foundation and everything, it does not look like it's creasing or anything, so it's doing really good so far. But, so far, so good. I'm just gonna take this very big brush right here and just lightly go over the rest of my face, not too heavy handed, very lightly. That way, I can start with the rest of my face. Okay. I'm taking this Real Techniques brush and going into the Wet n Wild bronzer. This is in the shade Sunset Strip Tease. Now I've been loving this stuff here lately, so hopefully it works with this foundation. Taking this fluffier brush right here and just going around my face and on the chin. So 
so far the foundation is doing really good and I absolutely love it. I'm taking this cute little brush right here and just doing my nose. I just finished my makeup right real fast and I did my eyes, I did eyeliner, my mascara, lipstick, and I think this look turned out really well. I absolutely love the foundation. It's working really well on my skin and I'm absolutely loving the yellow eyeshadow that I chose to do today. I think it brings out my blue eyes very good. But I thought I would show you the finished look and I will be back in few hours, two, three hours, depending on what I do, and I will give you my final result of the foundation, and that's what this looks like. So I'll be back, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Alright guys, so I'm back. It has been a few hours, and I have to say that this foundation has done really well on my skin. It is wonderful. It's lightweight, and it's super, like, it's it's staying on there like but I love it and I think you guys should try this out if you haven't already and let me know how you like it and I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching my videos and please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and thank you guys so much for watching and I guess and I'll see you guys in the next video bye